Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy, Spooky Noodles, aka Nicholas Gray, author of books, well, three collections and a solo novelette. Uh, the three collections I have written are uh, Gray Matter, Gray's Anatomy, and Halloween Tales. Well, Nicholas Gray's Halloween Tales. And then my solo novelette is The Chuan Centipede, or The Chuan Centipede, however you want to say it. Um, I don't even know how to say it, it's my own book. <laughs> but anyways, today we are here to talk about a special book. Um, we're talking about The Dark Un, or as it was originally called, and you're going to have to give me a second here as I look it up because I am totally blanking on the name. So it looks like the name of the book is Something Out There by Ronald Kelly. It was later turned into The Dark Un. By Ronald Kelly, obviously. It, the author doesn't change. It's still by the same author. Uh, it was just re-edited, I think, um, with a badass cover. Um, I really didn't understand the cover until you... Like, you will understand the cover when you read the book. Um, but honestly, the cover kind of confused me at first. I was like, what What, the, what am I looking at? <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, this is a book by Ronald Kelly. And if you know anything about me personally... You will know that I'm a huge Ronald Kelly fan. I love the way he writes. His storytelling is just so, so awesome. Like, it's, it's, it's so hard to describe all the things that I like about, uh, or talk about all the things that I like about Ronald Kelly's writing. But I will do my best today as we talk about The Dark Gun by Ronald Kelly. So first, I will read the synopsis. And then we will go ahead and read my review, and then maybe we'll delve into it a little bit when I talk about it, so... And if you heard a vibration, my phone's right next to me, so I apologize for that. But anyways, we are about to, to hop into this. So <laughs> let's just hop into it, shall, shall we? Uh, let's do this. Um, okay, here we go. This is the synopsis for Dark Gun by Ronald Kelly. It was passed down from generation to generation. The legend of the Dark Gun, the strange beast that roamed Pale Dove Mountain. The dark monster that no one had ever seen, at least not and lived to tell about it. Except, so it, it was said, old Fletcher Bryce, who lived at the foot of the mountain. No one really believed in the dark gun. It was just a story to make a child's flesh crawl, until old man Bryce died. Now the people in Tucker's Mill, Tennessee, would be forced to believe. Alright, so let's read my review that I left on Amazon and uh, well, hopefully Amazon and Goodreads. So let's do this. All right, here's my review. This was an amazing story. Master storyteller Ronald Kelly has done it again. I never seem to be let down by Ron's writing and this book was no different. This or the story is about this mountain man who is under pressure to sell his land to a city man that just wants to tear it all apart. But the mountain won't budge. Or the mountain man won't budge. Just like a mountain wouldn't budge. Uh, anyways, eventually something happens and the bad guy gets a hold of the deed. And what he plans to do is cruel. I love this story a lot. It had a teary-eyed ending, like most Ronald Kelly books, and I loved it so very much. Overall, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. So, where does this Ronald Kelly book land in my RK collection? So, so far I've read, I want to say, 5, maybe 6 Ronald Kelly books. If I, if I have, I would actually have to sit here and uh, reiterate everything that I've read. But um, obviously I've read Fear. I've read Bloodkin. I've read this one, Something Out There, or uh, Dark On, if you will. So that's four. Then I read uh, Father's Little Helper, a.k.a. 12 Gauge. I read his short story collection, uh, Mr. Glowbones and Other Halloween Tales. And then I read... His uh, newest Halloween collection, uh, I, I'm blanking on the name, um, so that's seven right there. Um, and then I'm currently reading Undertaker's Moon, aka uh, Moon of the Werewolf. So 
I have read a total of almost eight books by Ronald Kelly. So where does this one lit land on the list of my favorite RK reads? I would have to say it's not it's not as high up as I expected it to be when I'm actually thinking about all the books I like by RK or Ronald Kelly. Um, when I'm thinking about it, Fear is number one. I don't think Fear is ever going to be topped. Uh, Undertaker's Moon is currently doing really, really well, really, 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 uh, really well at trying to top Fear, but it's not going to, because Fear is my favorite book of all time. But uh, Bloodkin would be probably second, since you can't really put Undertaker's Moon up there yet, because I haven't finished it. So it would go Fear, Bloodkin, Father's Little Helper, Mr. Glowbones, and other Halloween tales, and then the Dark Gun. So that's, that's the order of RK top five right there. Um, I think it's number, f Dark Hunt is probably number five, I think I just listed it, but it's probably gonna drop down to number six because of Undertaker's Moon. But just because it's so low on my favorite RK list does not mean this book was bad. Like I said, five stars. This book was phenomenal. Um, the monster, you just feel for the monster so much. And I thought it was going in a different direction than it did. And it, it just, it explodes into this action packed ending that you just don't see coming. And it's just phenomenal. And the narrator did an amazing job narrating it. I don't really recall who the narrator was at the moment since this was, this has been a while since I've actually read this book, but Ronald Kelly knocks this one out of the park. Um, this one was a phenomenal read. Dark on, totally worth the read. If you can find the old classic book, that's cool. But the re-edited, uh, the re-edited version of this book is great too. I read, I think I read the, I read the, or I listened to the audio book, which is probably the older version. So th this one, I can't really complain obviously because I listened to it. So I'm not really looking for like errors and stuff. From editors and stuff but um but the re-edited version is probably the way to go plus ron kelly actually makes money off the new version so i totally would go fund him or i uh, buy his new book uh buy the new version of dark on or just dark on so yeah i would go buy that um it's a really good book and it's just phenomenal um you really hate the bad guy, but you don't know who the bad guy really is from the beginning. But, I mean, in the end, it's it's a phenomenal read. I totally recommend it, and it's up there in my favorite Ronald Kelly books of all time. It's not as high up as I thought it was going to be, but regardless, it's still high up. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to end this re review here because I could talk about Ronald Kelly all day. Um, he, like I said, he's my favorite author of all time. So I'm just going to end this here, but I hope you guys are having a great day and a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. And with that, I adieu, so goodbye.